Hey, hey, Jen. Hey. Home, home vlog. What are you doing? <laughs> home vlog. Home vlog. I'm changing the little baby. Oh, yeah. This kid Statement. pees so much. Yeah, he does. I can't even, like, is it normal for a kid to pee, like, 20,000 times a day? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, yeah, Because he does. This one does. Question for you guys. This little baby. Yeah, he pees so much. Uh, wh at what point did you start having a schedule with your child, if you have a child? Every time we ask them that, they're like, never. Yeah, but I mean, like, the kids have nap time, right? You like, think that's so funny. Yeah, huh? you do. Kids have nap time, right? Well, so I, don't, like, I don't think it's like a true nap time until they're a little bit older. Yeah, when is that? I think like two or three, maybe. What happened? The sun like went behind a cloud. I don't have any of the lights on in the house. That's probably what's going on here. But, oh, <gasps> look at that. We're Light. all yellow. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, when I was wearing this shirt, you guys thought I looked like a minion because I was, had the carrier on. And this is it. I was wearing this. It's from Uniqlo. And it says, listen through the noise. It's got a rocker Mickey on it. Oh, and just in case you guys didn't see yesterday's video, I wanted to mention again about the carrier. A lot of you guys messaged us and said, hey, I think your carrier, your baby, the baby wearing carrier that we oh, use yeah. is... Um, has been recalled. Yeah, it hasn't. We have a different brand. We so, have the Ergo 360 and the Ergo Omni 360. Yeah, so ours was not recalled, but I did want to say thank you for letting us know that there was a recall because... Um, we appreciate that. Yeah. So, thank you guys. But we're good though. Ours is all good. All good. Oh no, look. There you are. <gasps> Who's that yeah. babe? Oh, who is he? Who is that little babe? It's me. Who's that little babe? Jackson. His name is, is Jackson. When does he know his name? I don't know. Say, when will I know my name? When will I know my name? Yeah. Little baby Jackson. Oh, there's a smile. He's the cutest baby. Yeah. He's, he's little just baby staring Jackson. past the camera at the light. I think he's looking at you. Nope. He's looking. Oh, he's looking at our, our thermostat over there. He's Who's like, that? what's the temperature inside right now? I need to know. He says, that's mommy and daddy, and they're with the oh. Mickey Mouse. And I met Mickey Mouse the other day. You did Aww. meet Mickey Mouse the other day. It was so cute. It was. I wanted to give you guys a quick update on the pool situation. Still pretty green. I brushed it down last night, added chlorine, ran it all night, and then added in the algicide this morning. So I'm hoping by the end of the day today, it won't be as green. We shall see. And the sails held up well, I believe. I think they look very nice. And they do a good job of shading the pool. The only problem is the pool water is cold if it's not really hot outside. Oh, this is the first time Jackson's wearing his Weefarers, and they seem to fit much better than the other glasses that we gave him. And these have a little strap on the back, so they fit a little bit better, and they kind of like hug his head a little bit better. Look at that cool dude. Yeah, and they match my sunglasses. <gasps> you look just like your dad. Yeah, you do. Whoa. Let's go for a walk. So Tim is upstairs and I can hear him reading a book to Jackson and it's so cute. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna see if I can sneak up on him and show you guys their little fun reading time. But Jackson really loves when he's read to. So I'm actually really happy about that because that's a good thing to love. So um, let's see if we can catch him reading the book. For people just waiting. Waiting for a train to go, or a bus to come, or a plane to go, or mail to come, or rain to go, or a phone to ring, or the snow to snow, or wait around for a yes or no, or waiting for their hair to grow, everyone is just waiting. Waiting for the fish to bite, or waiting for the wind to fly a kite, or waiting for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake, or for, or a pot to boil, or a beer... Uh, or a pot to boil, or a better break. I don't know why he capitalized better. I don't know. That's strange. He's really looking at the book. Yeah. Or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, or a wig with curls, or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. Oh, they're all waiting for the bathroom. <laughs> no, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying, you'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. Uh-oh. With banner flap, with banner flip flapping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky, ready because you're that kind of guy. All right, I think I sufficiently wore Jackson out because he was doing good, we were reading a book, we we're just kind of hanging out, and then he was like, eh, and so I was like, all right, let's go in the bedroom. I like rocked him for like two seconds and then he's like, hmm, I'm asleep. So 
think he's going to sleep for a full two hours right now because he was very tired. And that's what we want. We want him to be worn out so that he takes a big long nap. But we really want him worn out at the end of the day. That's like the, the main time that we want him worn out so he takes his biggest nap of like, hopefully six hours. That'd be good. Last night he did five. But we weren't asleep for all five of those. We were asleep for about three of them. What about are you gonna do? Three. About three. I'd say that the chemicals in the filter are making some progress here. We can see the bottom of the, I'm just gonna call this the tub, because it's not a hot tub. The heater's not hooked up. We don't have a heater hooked up to it right now. So that's just a tub. But this part definitely still looks very green. We can see the bottom of the shallow end though. So we are making a recovery. Good sign. You guys remember the pool at the old house, how it was just always green? This one's a little bit easier to take care of. Okay, I just finished editing the video and guess who's asleep? It's me. <laughs> guess what we just did? Somebody bought tickets to go see Harry Styles in August. Yeah, I'm so excited! Jen's gonna go see Harry Styles. I don't want to wake up the baby, but I'm so excited! I'm gonna go with you. Yeah. Just, unless somebody else wants to go with you. No, but. I want you to go. Okay. You like his music, don't you? I like at least one song. <laughs> I don't know any others. This. Is that what he's doing? Yeah. See? <laughs> he's like, you're gonna go watch Harry Styles? Heck yeah. The baby's asleep, so he won't, I don't want to wake him up. We can talk loud, it's okay. This is my silent Harry Styles party. <laughs> oh no, he woke laugh. him up. Are you, are you making fun of us because we were going to see Harry Styles? Look at this face. Oh, he kicked. Good morning. Somebody is unhappy to be awake. Um, I get you. I totally... No, I totally get it. I'm always unhappy to be awake too. All right. So uh, the baby was super tired. Oh, we yeah. We put him back to sleep because he's well, like not having it. You didn't want to put him to sleep because we were thinking that if he sleeps too much now, he's not going to sleep later, which could be the case, but he was so grumpy. Yeah. He's like, I do not want to be awake right now. Put he me needed, back to sleep. Yeah. Like he needed to go to sleep, whether yeah. it keeps us up later or not, like he needed to go to sleep. Yeah. But while he's asleep, I did want to mention, I wanted to say thank you guys so much on Friday. I am running in Amazing Race Orlando, mm -hmm. and there will be kind of like a behind the scenes video that we're going to put up on our channel afterwards. I can't film too much of it because they are filming it for release on their website. Oh, yeah. Um, but it's for charity, and with you guys' help, we were able to raise over $18,000. You guys, that is amazing. Yeah, for Give Kids the World. Yeah. So fantastic charity. Thank you guys so much. Awesome. Well, that means that in the last two, because we've done two like fundraiser kind of things with them, and for the last two, we raised almost forty thousand dollars. Yeah. In since September for them. Yeah. So that's crazy, you that guys. Is awesome. Yeah, like you guys did that. Yeah. Thank you. And just to like for a little bit of like a a point of of note, six thousand dollars is one family around six thousand dollars. It will cover the cost of one family's trip for a all expense paid week long vacation in Orlando, Florida. I just, I think that's amazing. Yeah. So yay, that's like over six trips for six, like for six different families. Yeah. That's cool. That's fantastic. Yeah. And then the other charity event that we're doing coming up is called Field to Feast. Yeah. And that is coming up, when is that coming up? Uh, the 22nd. The 22nd. Right? Let me double check, hold on. Yeah, the 22nd. And so we talked about this in a vlog not too long ago, mm -hmm. um, but we'll be there. It's going to be just all of the different chefs, not all of them, some of the different chefs from the Disney resorts. Yeah, a lot of signature resorts. Yeah, signature restaurants. A lot of signature restaurants. Yeah, yeah Toledo, uh, what's the Topolino? Mm -hmm. California Grill? I think so. I can't remember all of them. There's a whole, I'll link the website down below so you guys can check it out if you want. But we'll be there. We'll be eating lots of delicious food. We found out that each area is going to have a plant-based option. Oh, yeah. So if you are a plant-based eater or a vegan or a vegetarian, or if that's just something you want to try, um, they'll have a lot of options, which is exciting. Yeah. So this is a charity event, and 100% of ticket sales goes to the Kids Cafe portion of Second Harvest Food Bank, which is a, a section of Second Harvest Food Bank that provides after-school meals for Orange 
Seminole and Osceola counties in Florida here. So Yeah, so it's helping to fight like childhood hunger. Yeah. Which is something that um like that's amazing. I'm excited that we can help and be a part of that. Yeah. I'm also excited just to go to the event. It sounds awesome. Yeah, it'll be so. good. It's over at Long and Scott Farms, which is where we did a corn maze recently. I'll, I'll link that video down below. Um, but it was fun. And so it's kind of like an outdoor thing. So it should be nice, hopefully. Hopefully the weather yeah, will still be nice. Hopefully the weather will be nice. Yeah. Like live but, bands and stuff. It'll be cool. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, but also there's still tickets available. So if you guys want to go, we'll put a link to that in the description down below because yeah. it'll be fun. Yeah. A lot of good food. Just to give you guys a little bit of insight into our lives, we just spent a good five minutes trying to remember the phrase, Apple's bees. You guys might not remember that meme. It was a meme. Do you guys remember it? It was just like a group chat, a shot of a group chat of everybody just saying Apple's bees. Apple's bees? Apple's bees. So, and I was saying... Uh, Apple babble. <laughs> Apple's peas. Um, Apple, Apple Literally, peas. none of this is important. It's the best. None of it. So tonight, um, Tim is going to go to a dinner for... The Amazing Race, which mm -hmm. is at Buca de Beppo. Buca and we, de Beppo. Were, we were looking at it. We were trying to figure out like where it was located. Um, and it's near an Apple's Bees. An Apple it's, Bees. It's near, near an Apple Bees. <laughs> so that's why. Oh, us. <laughs> In case you guys were wondering, we got plenty of sleep last night. <laughs> we are not delirious at all. I feel like I got okay sleep. Yeah, better than the night before. Yeah, so like, this is just us normal. This is how we are. We are now both officially like you're a mom and i'm a dad and mm -hmm. now you have mom jokes and i have dad jokes your mom jokes just happen to be apples bees no, and I my didn't. dad jokes are that's just me repeating a meme apple peas <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna make a sandwich now okay Ooh, what you making <laughs> a sandwich oh yeah well, a wrap i feel like we should turn the lights on in the house it's very dark in here you know what's funny is that um, I was saying this the other day. I feel like we live in complete darkness now because of the baby. Like I don't want, it's like his eyes are kind of like adjusting still. So I don't want to like, I don't want the house to be like super bright. So I like having all the natural light, which is why we leave all the windows open. So I never turn the lights on anymore. Yeah. We have one light on in the entire house and it's that one right there. I know. So maybe I will turn the light. He's asleep. I'll turn the lights on. <laughs> oh no, that's what he used to do. Oh yeah, the baby. Every time you turn on the lights, he'd go. He did. He literally, when he was like first, like a month old, we were like, he's a vampire. Yeah. Because he would literally do that. He'd go. <laughs> <laughs> now he has sunglasses. Oh yeah. I was so close to being done making my sandwich and this little baby is awake. So let me go grab him and then I'll eat this guy later. So tonight I have to go eat dinner at Buca de Beppo, but I have to go by myself. Because Jen's staying home with the baby, and uh, I'm nervous. I feel like I don't ever go into social situations without Jen. She's like my rock. Oh, no. I'm the rock. You're the rock. I'm Dwayne Johnson, the rock. Yeah. My blueprints are in my head. <laughs> that was the movie, The Rock. Oh, yeah. is it? Yeah. I've never seen that. Oh, it's a good movie. It's, mm. got, a, it's got Nick Cage in it. Mm. And that's a Sean Connery. My, my blueprints are in my head. <laughs> that type of thing. Oh. And they have to like specific timing for getting out of Alcatraz. Do they I don't swim know. like in the water? And there's something to do with like a bomb. I have to watch that movie again. Hmm. There was like a bomb that they needed to get into Alcatraz. I don't know. It was strange. A very strange movie, but it was good. You should watch it. I'm scared to go into a social situation tonight by myself. <laughs> How did we end up on Alcatraz? <laughs> Jackson was totally looking at my shirt and watching Mickey Mouse dance. Right? Like this. Well, now he's looking at his little... He's like looking at his little arch. He, he loves punching the bee. Yeah, see, there he goes. He's punching it. You like your bee? You just slept for like 15 hours. <laughs> no. And you're still yawning. Yeah, hey, I'm so tired today. No, look at him. He's so happy. He's going to be awake until midnight tonight. Oh, heck yeah. It's party time. And he likes it when I do this. Whoever came up with the idea that like, just putting like plastic inside of these things and babies love it. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. He loves it when daddy moves his shirt around and makes Mickey dance. Do you love that? Yes. You love that. I now have a deep voice. <laughs> Jackson's a baby boy. He's a little baby boy.
Jack, since the baby boy, he is little baby Jack. I don't know why, but he really likes having his head rubbed like this. He does. He loves it. Yeah. Who's that little baby? What's that? What's that big fuzzy thing right there? What is that? Yeah, you have to, that's the microphone. You have to say hi to it. Go, say Applebee's. <laughs> Apple's bees. Here's something that we haven't tried before, and this is the ring sling. I think he likes it. Well, he likes it when I move, so if I stop moving, he doesn't like it. Yeah. But I think it's pretty, like, it's very easy. I don't know what brand this one is. Do you remember? I think it's a Maya yeah. something. It was kind of pricey. I don't think it was. Yeah, I think it was like 80 bucks. Oh, okay, yeah. I think it was. Um, and we didn't we didn't get any use out of it when we first bought it, and I was like, oh, should we have bought this? It was kind of a lot of money. But I think it was a good purchase because this is just like an easy kind of, not hands free, but I have like one hand free. And I think I could nurse him in this. Yeah. So, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think this was a good buy. Angry. Well, I gotta, I gotta walk around. <laughs> okay, so now I'm headed off to Buga de Beppo. I love saying that. It makes me feel like I'm doing like a, like a jazz, like I'm a jazz man. Oh, I'm Buga de Buga de Buga de Buga de. Uh oh. You're gonna eat some delicious food without me. I know, I'm sorry. I'm gonna bring you home something, but. <laughs> they did have this thing on the menu that sounded really good that was like short ribs and shell pasta and like a. Bucatini? <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, I'll have to go now, bye. Bye. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna go and I don't know how much but I'm gonna be able to film because it's just like a bunch of people that I've never met before. So I don't know if they're like cool with vlogging or not. Uh, we'll see. We're gonna go and, and test the waters. If not, I'll show you guys the Buca de Beppo in Celebration Florida. And I'll show you guys what's on the menu and stuff like that. So you guys can see this restaurant. It's a fun restaurant. It's like a family style Italian restaurant. Crazy things on the walls. I don't know. It's good times. I feel like we've never been there in a vlog. I don't know if we have been there in a vlog. Yeah, but I know, I know that, that we've been, been to a Buca de Beppo before. Yeah. Buca de Beppo. Super <laughs> fun to say. Papa da papa da papa. Do you guys watch Bob's Burgers? And <laughs> Freddie was like, Freddie? No, Teddy. <laughs> Teddy. Teddy. Bob's, Bob was trying to get him to leave and he goes, Scat, scat, scat. And he goes, ba -ba 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 -ba. And he goes, no, 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 leave, shoo. It was funny. It's a great <laughs> joke. It was. Funny. Comedic amazement. Uh, all right, we're doing it. We're heading to Booga de Beppo. Bye, I'll miss you. Bye, I'll miss you too. Bye, Jackson. Bye, Bandit. We love you. Bye. All right, here we are, Booga de Beppo in Celebration, Florida. And right next to it is Holler and Dash, which is going to become Maple Street Biscuit Company. I'm interested to try that one day because I do like me some breakfast biscuits. It's a very lively group in here, but this is the room that we're in. I see all kinds of Italian things all over the walls. That's what I meant by there's a lot of different stuff all over the walls. I feel like this is a better representation of what Buco de Beppo is like. This is the best example right here is this is like the Pope room and there's a Pope in the center of the table. Everything's family style, so that's a Lazy Susan, and you would, they would just serve the different dishes on that Lazy Susan and spin it around and take whatever you want. So I'm all home from Buca de Beppo now, and I ordered Jen some food to go. And I was like, give me the small one, and then let me show you what they brought me. It looks pretty small now that I'm looking at it. Okay, but yeah, I guess you're right. That is smaller than I thought it was going to be when they brought me out this giant, like, put your hand over top of it. Like I thought it was gonna be Whoa. full to the brim, <laughs> overflowing. I just think they didn't it's have. It's heavy, like it's full to the brim. It's really heavy. I think they just didn't have a small size. Oh no! But this was like thirty dollars. Whoa! Yeah. Well, because it's it's enough for two or three people, right? Yeah. Okay. I think it's enough for three to four, is what it said. So when you're ordering stuff from Buca de Beppo, you don't really order individual things. They have individual things on the to-go menu like if you're ordering it online but if you're in the restaurant i don't think that they do there's certain things that are on not on both menus and this was one of the things that was on just the shareable menu so it was just like bigger but it, it looks good this was the short rib orchetta orchetta yeah which it kind of just looks like short rib mixed in with like alfredo so there it was that was our home vlog with a little tiny taste of Buco de Beppo in there. I'm gonna tell you what. What? I don't think Buco de Beppo is, I can't even say it, is very good. No, none of the food that I had, and I didn't show you any of the food that I had today. I tasted the uh, chicken parmesan, the 
spaghetti with Wait, meat if sauce. If you didn't show them the food, what did you show them? Just like the the ambiance of the room. Oh, okay. Show them the the Pope table. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry you didn't get to see the food. Well, I mean, it, eh. it wasn't great. I would not recommend going to Buca di Beppo. No. I think there are better Italian places that you can go to. Yeah, Maggiano's. We yeah. went there. That was good. It, like Vivo at, at Universal yeah, was Vivo really was good. Vivo was so good. Yeah. It's not family style, but I just think the food, like this was not great. Right. Yeah. Mm. So, I don't know. But I, today was a good day. I got so much stuff done while you were gone. Like the baby, I put the baby in the ring sling. We walked bandit. We like walked around the house. He fell asleep. I was able to fold two loads of laundry. I did the dishes. I like cleaned up a little bit around the house. It was, I really liked that sling. All right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Two thumbs up. <laughs> Um, Friday, I'm going to be running The Amazing Race. I know. I found out where it's starting. Mm. Starting at the Hyatt Regency, I have to repel off of a building. I'm kind of scared. Yeah, it's 7 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to be repelling off of a building. Are you scared? No. You're not scared? No. I'm scared. I read all of the stuff on the website for the company that's putting it on. They, mm. like, do these all the time. And these, these are OSHA-regulated repelling harnesses. So, like, safe. Oh, okay, but I'm still scared. Plus, I get to practice one time first. You have to do it twice? Well, not down the building. Oh. Just, like, up on the roof, like, getting a feel for it. And you, like, sit into the into the harness. Oh, I'm so scared for you. Well, I'll be done in no time. Okay. Yeah. Uh. But uh, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. We'll find that out tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So, all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. And now now it's time time to pay pay the the price. price.